Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to everyone. My name is Muhammad Iqbal Medigam, your MC for today's briefing and introduction for Department of RRK. Before we begin, I would like to extend a very warm welcome to our speakers of honor, the Head of Department of Islamic Religion Knowledge, Mr. Kazman bin Kamaruzaman, and our Academic Advisor, Dr. Siti Hawa binti Ahmad, and last but not least, the students of CFSRIUM who are joining us through YouTube Live. To begin the department briefing and introduction with blessings of Allah, I would like to call Brother Muhammad Adik Shahni bin Muhammad Bahari, the Secretary of Students Coordination Committee, to lead the recitation of dua. Please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asyrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Ya Allah, ya fa'alu lima yurid. Oh Allah, we express our gratitude to you for allowing us to attend this gathering on a suspicious day. O oh Allah, we ask you for the safety of our religion and the welfare of our body. O oh Allah, Lord of the implementing authority, make the days that we've gone through start in your mercy, continue with your blessing and righteous guidance, end it with thy forgiveness. May the days that we've gone through spent in your obedience, adorn us with the adornment of the righteous, and clothe us with the ornament of the pious, in spreading good behavior, lowering the wing of humility, beauty of conduct, advancing to its excellence, avoiding condemnation, being gracious to the undeserving, stating truth to our better. Ya Allah, Ya Muhaymin, Ya Aziz, Ya Jabbar, that our efforts as a means to enlighten and convince ourselves that the personal safety of either outer or inner is a prerequisite for achieving happiness and excellence in various fields. O oh Allah, grant us faith and strength in order to face the challenges of life during these needy yet troubling times and in the face of life in this new norm. Ya Allah, Ya Farij Al-Ham, Ya Kash Palgam, Ya Man Yabihi, Ya Firu Wa Ya Tham. O oh Allah, show us guidance and adjust our path and ways to achieve happiness and glory. Let us listen to the people who like the good things. Let us avoid doing the bad and evil things. O oh Allah, bless our life in this meeting and gathering and prevent us from harm and unfortunate events. Amen. Amen. Amin Ya Rabbil Alamin, thank you very much for the dua recitations. May our event today run smoothly and blessed by Allah SWT. Before we proceed with the first agenda, I would like to remind all students to fill out the attendance form that will be provided later. You may also ask questions by writing down in the comment section and also fill out the question form. Without further ado, I would like to invite our first speaker, the Head of Department of RRK, Ustaz Kazman bin Kamal Zaman to brief us on the Department of RRK study plan and also any information that relate to RRK. Please welcome. Thank you very much, uh, my dear speaker, Brother Ikhwan. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya'i wal mursaleen wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim. Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassili amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, dear respected academic advisor Dr. Siti Hawa binti Ahmad. Uh, dear respected deputy director Brother Zainal Amidin Ibrahim. Uh, dear respected uh, Brother Ikhwan uh, who is also the president of Islamic Review Knowledge Student Society. Uh, and dear respected committees of Ta'aruf Week for CFS, RUM Gabang Campus, and my dear brothers and sisters, the new IRK intake uh, for 2020 2021. Uh, I would like to say that, Ahlan wa wa Selamat datang, and welcome to CFS, RUM Gabang Campus. So uh, perhaps uh, the committee will share the slide for me before I begin my presentation.
Uh, so should, uh, should I share by my own or what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think it says, yeah, said, uh, just now you want to present by yourself or you want to that. Uh, let me try it first. Hold on. I think for me, I'm just going to Sorry. Can you see it now? Yeah. Uh, you can see it, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, so uh, I am your uh, new, uh, newly appointed and head of department uh, starting from 1st of August 2021. All right. So uh, for Q&A session, uh, this one, I put it uh, on the second page because if you have any questions regarding the academic matters, feel free to submit those questions through Google Form uh, via this link. And of course, I, I think the committee has already shared uh, in the chat room and perhaps in YouTube also. All right, uh, background. So before I begin with the background of our department, I would like to introduce uh, uh, all of my academic members. As you can see here, uh, standing at the back from left is uh, Ustaz uh, Muhammad Alif Zainuddin, uh, who is also our course coordinator for core courses. And Ustaz Alif uh, graduated from our university and IUM, and he's obtained a bachelor in Islamic Revealing Knowledge and majoring in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion. And he also obtained a master's and in the same field. And currently uh, he is continuing and his PhD and PhD in nursing at IUM Kuantan campus. And he is a very well-known orator. And if you Google uh, the name of Ustaz Muhammad Alif Zainuddin, uh, you can see a lot of video of his kuliya and uh, around uh, the masajid or the mosque and uh, at Kuantan. All right. And he is, of course, uh, the youngest male and academic lecturer in our department. All right. So standing beside uh, his left is Ustaz Muhammad Kamal Nazmi bin Kamaruddin. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, he already left us uh, because he's joining politics. Uh, currently, he is serving as a uh, political secretary to one of our ministers, uh, Minister uh, Datuk, uh, Datuk Sri, sorry, Datuk Muhammad Khairuddin Attakiri, uh, the Kuala Nerus, a member of parliament, and Ustaz Kamal Azmi. And, all right. and then uh, standing on his left side is Dr. Nekmat Jehtain and one of our uh, academic members and one of our senior and, and he's graduated from Omdurman and Islamic University of Sudan in Sharia and Law and then he also obtained a Master of Islamic Revealing Knowledge and, and then later he also obtained Doctor of Philosophy in Sharia from University of Malaya and standing beside him and on his left is Ustaz Muhammad Shawpi bin Muhammad Zahir one of uh, our senior member of academic staff, uh, Ustaz Shawki, also graduated from our university, IOM, uh, majoring in Quran and Sunnah studies and in bachelor's degree and in master's degree also. And standing beside him is Ustaz Muhammad Yaidi bin Tuk Lubu. And, but unfortunately, and Ustaz Yaidi has already retired uh, recently. And standing beside him is Ustaz Nasiruddin, and the one, uh, the one with the white shirt, and Ustaz Nasiruddin, and who also just retired recently, and unfortunately. And they, uh, both of them are uh, really great murabbi. All right, and standing in the middle, uh, yang pakai songkok tu, is Ustaz uh, Shafizan bin Johari. And Ustaz Shafizan is also one of our uh, senior member of academic staff. And Ustaz Shafizan uh, graduated from our university also, an International Islamic University of Malaysia. Uh, majoring in Quran and Sunnah studies. And standing beside him is Ustaz Hasanul Basri uh, bin Abdullah. Uh, he is also uh, one of the uh, senior members uh, in our academic staff. Uh, Ustaz Hasanul Basri was uh, head of department. Uh, I just took over from him. Uh, uh, and he's graduated from International University of Africa. 
and obtaining bachelor degree in uh, Sharia, and then later he obtained a master of Sharia uh, in uh, UKM and University of Bangs and Malaysia. And then standing beside him, and the one with the copy, uh, is uh, Dr. Kasim Den Ramli. Uh, Dr. Kasim also one of our senior member in our department. He obtained a Bachelor of Arts in Da'wah and Usuluddin from Islamic University of Medina. And then he also obtained a Master of Islamic Revenue Knowledge and specializing in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion. And later on, he also obtained Doctor of Philosophy and in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion. And, and he's still with us. And standing beside Dr. Kasim is me, myself, and Kazman bin Kamar Zaman. I obtained a uh, first uh, diploma, Tafiz Al Quran Wal Qiraat from Darul Quran Jakim. And then later, I obtained a bachelor's degree in Islamic Revenue Knowledge, uh, majoring in Quran and Sunnah studies, and my minor was in political science. And then later, I obtained a master's in Islamic Revenue Knowledge and also in the field of Quran and Sunnah studies, but my major was in uh, Sunnah uh, studies. And standing beside me on that picture is Ustaz Zizi Zarimi, Benorawi, and the one with the blue shirt. And Ustaz Zizi graduated from uh, Islamic University of Manina and majoring in Hadith studies. Right? And standing beside Ustaz Zizi is Dr. Zubaidi Wahyono. Dr. Zubaidi, and unfortunately, he has already left us. Uh, he's joining uh, IUM main campus in Gomba. Eh? All right, let's uh, let us take a look at the female lecturers. And eh? on the left side in this picture, and the first one is uh, Ustada Wan Nurul Afiqah Akmal, Binti Datuk Wan Muhammad Afendi, and she is uh, the youngest uh, member of our academic staff. Uh, Ustaz Afika graduated from our university, uh, IUM. Uh, she's majoring in fiqh and usud al fiqh. And standing beside her is Ustaz uh, Sabar Yah Binti Arum, and one of the senior member in our department. And Ustaz Sabar Yah uh, graduated from our university, uh, IUM, and majoring in uh, fiqh and usud al fiqh. And then later also he obtained a master's in Islamic Revenue Knowledge and in the same field. And then standing beside her is uh, Dr. Siti Hawa Binti Ahmad, and who is also our academic advisor. Uh, Dr. Siti Hawa had obtained a bachelor's degree, master's degree, and doctor of philosophy uh, in, the, in the same field, and Quran and Sunnah studies, but her specialization is in uh, Sunnah studies or Hadith. And of course, she just recently obtained uh, doctor of Philosophy, uh, Mabruk Doctor. All right, and then standing beside her is Ustazah Maznah Binti Mazlan. Uh, Ustazah Maznah is also one of our uh, senior academic member, and he obtained a Bachelor of Islamic Revenue Knowledge in Quran and Sunnah Studies, and later he, uh, she obtained a Master of Arts in Civilizational Studies. And standing beside her is one of the most and as a senior member in our academic staff is Ustazah Salmiyah Binti Mat. And Ustazah Salmiyah obtained a Bachelor of Arts in Sharia from University of Malaya. And later, she also obtained a Ma Master of Islamic Revenue Knowledge and from our university, uh, IUM. And Ustazah Salmiyah just got, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, two to three years uh, before uh, retirement. And standing beside Ustazah Salmiya uh, is Ustazah and Nur Akman. And Nur Akman Binti Azul Wahab. And Ustazah Akman and obtained a bachelor degree in Islamic Revenue Knowledge and specializing in uh, fiqh and usul al fiqh. And minor was in psychology. And then standing beside Ustazah uh, Akmal is Ustazah Siti Nur Sadrina Binti Mamba Ansar. And she obtained a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion from our university, IUM. And standing beside her is Ustada Fathiyatun Nur. And she also and, uh, graduated from our university, IUM, and majoring in uh, Usuluddin and Comparative Religion and for bachelor's degree. 
And then standing beside her is Ustada Nur Adila binti Ahmad. Uh, she is also one of the senior member in our university and uh, having already served and uh, almost 11 years. Uh, she graduated from our university, IUM, a bachelor's degree in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion and Master of Islamic Living Knowledge and majoring in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion. And standing beside her is Ustada Tuan Nur Shazni Binti Tuan Muda, and our course coordinator, uh, who is uh, obtained, who has obtained a uh, bachelor's degree and a master's degree uh, in Usuluddin and Comparative Religion from our university. And standing beside her is Ustada Nur Asia Binti Aling. And she is also one of the uh, senior member in our university. Udada Asia obtained a Bachelor of Islamic Revealed Knowledge in Faith and Usudul Faith from our university. And also she obtained Diploma in Education from our university. And then later on, she obtained Master of Arts in Sharia uh, from University of Malaya. And standing beside her is Ustazah Safida binti Muhammad. Right? Uh, Ustazah Safida obtained a Master of, sorry, Bachelor of Islamic Revealed Knowledge in Quran and Sunnah Studies from our university. And then uh, she also obtained Master of Arts in Education. Right? And then standing beside her is Ustazah Arianti binti Mustafa. She is currently on leave, uh, but pretty soon she will be joining us back in our campus. Uh, and standing beside her is Ustazah uh, Nur Farah Shazwami. Uh, Binti Ismail, uh, she's obtained a uh, Bachelor of Arts in Arabic Language and Literature. And standing beside her is Ustana Wan Razia Binti Wan Abdullah. Uh, she is the former head of department uh, of our uh, at, at, uh, CFS, IUM. Uh, uh, and previously, of course, when uh, she is leading the department, the department of IRK combined which as uh, which HS and that's why we uh, we call it as department of IRK HS right? but currently of course we are separated uh, between these two departments so only department of Islamic Revealed Knowledge and then on the other hand uh, we have a department of human sciences right? so Ustazah Wan Razia binti Wan Abdullah uh, she obtained a bachelor of Islamic Revealed Knowledge and specializing in faith and usul al -fiqh. And then later on, she obtained a Master of Islamic Revealed Knowledge and specializing in usul al and comparative religion. And the last one is Ustada Sa'udah binti Ismail. Ustada Sa'udah is uh, the most senior member and based on the database here. And she is the most senior member in our department. She is, uh, she is uh, I think, uh, in less than two or three years, uh, she will be retiring uh, from her service at uh, UM. So Ustazah Saoda obtained Bachelor of Arts in Economics, interestingly. And then he ob uh, she obtained a Master of Islamic Revealed Knowledge uh, from our university at uh, UM. All right, so the background of our department here, the Department of Islamic Revealed Knowledge is one of the largest department at the Center for Foundation Studies, International Islamic University of Malaysia. And why is that? And there are two reasons. And number one is because the size of our staff. Uh, we've got 26 academic staff, right? which is equivalent uh, to Department of Physics. And they also got 36 staff. Right? But of course, you cannot compare us with SELPAD. Uh, SELPAD like QLD, Quranic Language Department, or ELD, English Language Department, uh, they are totally different uh, because they are SELPAD. But uh, uh, comparing with any other department, and Department of IRK is one of the largest department in our university. That one, and reason number one. Reason number two is because we are... Uh, we are providing and offering uh, the service courses and which is uh, which are uh, the subject for understanding Islam one and understanding Islam two, uh, which which are made compulsory or requirement for all CFS IOM students to take it uh, before graduating from CFS IOM Gambang campus, and that's why and our department is considered as one of the largest department at the Center for Foundation Studies at RUM. 
So uh, our department also offers a core courses to its own students who specialize in Islamic revealing knowledge with Arabic and English as the medium of interaction. And which means that uh, you guys will be taking uh, some subjects, uh, some subjects in English, uh, for example, like Anasani Islam 1, Anasani Islam 2, and perhaps uh, Ustrah 1 and Ustrah 2 will be conducted in English. And some of the subjects also uh, will be offered in Arabic language. And the medium of interaction will be uh, in Arabic. And apart from that, Islamic knowledge courses, which are compulsory for all the students uh, of the center, are offered to enhance and students' knowledge on Islam and to inculcate Islamic values on, in them. All right. So this, this is what uh, we are offering uh, to our community in CFS uh, because uh, we want our students uh, to be enhanced, uh, to be, uh, what do you call it, to be added with some soft skill, uh, some added values and knowledge. Uh? So that's why when it comes to our graduates, IUM graduates, uh, people expect them to lead and to be the leader, uh, to be an imam, to be a speaker, uh, to be an orator, so on and so forth. Uh, so that's why we need to prepare them. Uh? Right. Our mission, the department aims at molding students into becoming well-rounded, high achievers equipped with sound faith, iman, knowledge, al and good conduct or akhlaq. So these three main elements are very, very important for students to equip uh, in order to be a good student, uh, to be to becoming a murabi student. Uh, they are taught to lead by example, to become useful, contributive, and relevant to the Muslim Ummah and the world. And that's why uh, we are expecting more from you guys as IRK students. And IRK students, they should be leading other students. And because of what? Because other students from other departments, and they will be observing you guys. Look at him. And he is an IRK student. But his behavior is absurd, for instance. So I don't want to hear anything like that. And as IRK student, you should show prime example for other students and right? because people will be looking at you and um, islamic reveal knowledge student plaja ilmu wahyu and so you should show a prime example and uh, like the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam laqad kana lakum fi rasulillahi uswatun hasana all right uh, this is our organization uh, chat and you can see here, and the head of the department, me, myself, and Kazman bin Kamarul Zaman, and my personal assistant uh, is Sister Sarah Liana Bitti Suhaimi, and these are our course coordinators, Ustadah Tuan Nur Shazri Bitti Tuan Muda, and course coordinator for service courses, which means that Ustadah Shazri will be handling uh, subjects like Anasani Islam 1, Anasani Islam 2, they want service courses. Right? And we've got another one, course coordinator number two, Ustaz Muhammad Alif bin Zainuddin, and he will be handling for core courses. Uh, core courses like uh, Al-Madhal ila Al-Quran wa Sunnah, Al-Madhal ila Manahij uh, Da'wah, and so on and so forth. Right? That one is a requirement for you guys to take before graduation. Right? This is our academic advisor, Dr. Siti Hawa Binti Ahmad, and you can reach her at that email and at that mobile number. All right, this is our course leader for RKM 0424A, and Madhal is al Quran, was Sunnah, and Ustaz Shafizan bin Johari. I already introduced him uh, to you guys just now. And then we have course leader for RKF 0414A, Madhal is al Aqidah, wa Usuluddin, and Ustaz Zizi Zarimi Norawi. And then this is course leaders. And assistant leader for RKF 0413 and Anasani Islam 1. Uh, at the top of the uh, slide here is Ustazah Farah Shazwani binti Ismail, uh, who will be our course leader for the subject. And on the right one is Ustazah Maznah binti Mazlan, who will be assistant course leader. And then at the bottom of the page of the slide is Dr. Kasim Ramli, and who will be the course leader for Anasani Islam 1 in Arabic. Uh, for Arabic, of course, it will be offered to students like Ba and uh, Arabic, and Arabic student, uh, Arabic language and literature student, uh, and then perhaps Arkom, Arabic communication. Uh, 
Uh, this is our course leader for RKF0423 and it's the Islam 2, Sadra Wanurul Afrika Akmal binti Dato Wan Muhammad Afendi. And for Arisli Islam 2, it will be offered uh, perhaps for uh, repeated student or extended student. Uh, perhaps uh, some of the student might be uh, extending their stays in CFS because they failed and during the last semester. So they need to take it back. Uh, so we have to offer and understand Islam too, uh, for this semester. All right, this is our picture. And I think some of our staff uh, were not there. Uh, in front of Arazi building. Uh, so Arazi building is our building uh, for our department of hierarchy. Uh, all right. Okay, our function, uh, looking for academic matters, looking after academic matters. Uh, so for our, uh, uh, the first one is, uh, our function, or uh, our role is to, looking for academic matters, which means that if you guys any academic matters, uh, you guys can reach us. And especially to our academic advisor, uh, she will advise what to do. And for your study plan, uh, for your, uh, perhaps uh, if you have uh, any uh, doubtfulness in terms of uh, organizing your life, and, or perhaps uh, in terms of uh, planning your future, and job, and so on and so forth, and you can reach at uh, Dr. Siti Hawa binti Ahmad. And then staffing, and staff, of course, we are uh, we are still not recruiting at the moment, uh, but perhaps in the next two or three years, uh, we need to recruit and uh, two or three new staff uh, because uh, some of us will be retiring. And then uh, we also look at curriculum, and perhaps uh, after three years or five years and we'll be uh, revising on our curriculum whether it is still relevant or not and then for course outline also uh, this is of course uh, one of our uh, job scope and uh, to look at the course outline and then for the assessment and what to do for the whole semester uh, we have the continuous assessment marks and uh, that we need to be uh, that need to be assessed uh, for example, like uh, assignment, uh, presentation, uh, test, and so on and so forth. And then we also providing academic materials. And currently, of course, we do not we do not have any uh, official uh, textbook, but we provide some material uh, using Padlet. Uh, Padlet ni macam cloud lah, and there is a website uh, where we put some of the uh, materials that can be used. And during uh, our semesters and uh, for RTL especially, and then we we also provide training uh, for our student like Swan, and especially for student who uh, maybe had difficulties and or obstacles and in reaching uh, their targets and in achieving their uh, GPA or CGPA. Uh, so we will also provide some training. Okay? And then we have also mentor mentee program, uh, which means that some of the lecturer will be assigned uh, maybe 10 or 15 uh, students as an uh, angkat, for instance. Uh, but I think at the moment, I think uh, this program is currently on hold uh, because of the pandemic. And usually, of course, we can meet and uh, uh, we can have Usra. <laughs> and then we have Isra. And uh, this is one of the uh, most important. Uh, body uh, for student society and it stands for Islamic Review Knowledge and uh, Student Society and, and our president is here, uh, Brother Ikhwan, well done. Study plan, uh, starting from 2021, as you can see here, this is uh, our suggestion uh, for student and to uh, in terms of uh, organizing and, and uh, planning their yeah, study plan for semester one and we are suggesting that, and for one, uh, you should guys, uh, you guys should take, and the first subject is understanding Islam one and RKF zero four one three, and that is the one of the easiest uh, subject and in this uh, semester, and then you guys have also and Madhal ilal Aqidah wa Usuluddin RKF zero four one four A, and then you guys will also will be taking Madhal ilal Quran wa Sunnah RKF zero four two four A. And then LEM, English, and this one from uh, ELD department, and English language department. And then you guys will be taking also LQM, uh, Arabic language. 
kan uh, this one according to uh, the QLD Quranic language department and, and of course it is depending on your uh, SPM result or EPT result yesterday kan? and then we also got Usrah and wine and the uh, credit hours and will be earned is 0.5 but the contact hours will be 2 hours and per week man uh, usually after friday prayer right all right so total of 19.5 and credit hours earned for semester number 1 semester 2 you guys will have madkhal ila al fiqh and rkf 04348 and then later you guys will be taking also Manahal ila manahij jawa sorry manahij 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 adawa RKF 044A and then you guys will be taking basic application of ICT ICT 0413 0513 sorry and then you guys will be taking LEM English LQM Arabic at Usrah number 2 right so total and again 19.5 credit hours earned right and then for the last semester, semester three before graduating, and you guys will be taking Nusus, Mukhtarat, Min al Quran, Was Sunnah, and RKF 0454A. And then Madhul Ila, Usul al Fiqh, RKF 0464A. And then Understanding Islam 2, and RKF 0423. And then Thinking Skills, and HSA, and 0344. And this one from uh, the Department of Human Sciences. Huh? And then you guys will be taking also English and Arabic. So total and of 23 and credit hours earned and for semester three. All right. And this one just for your information. And English placement test and which uh, already held yesterday, 5 of August. All right. Uh, this is according to the uh, justification. And you guys, you guys are IRK student, non-English medium. In terms of interaction, right? So if you guys and uh, obtain A plus or A, right? You guys will be exempted uh, from taking uh, the EPT uh, for A minus and eligible uh, for e EPT for exemption. Maya tak perlu ambil lah. Um, tak perlu ambil kelas. That means kamu uh, exceptionally uh, excellent in English, right? But if you guys obtain B plus B, C plus, C and D in your English a subject during your SPM result, and you guys will be taking an English classes according to the level. And all right, uh, this is our academic calendar. As you can see, semester one. Previously, of course, we have short semester, uh, but of course, the uh, MSD, uh, the AMAT and Academic Management and Admission Division, and has. Uh, change our academic calendar so there is no more short semester and instead we have all long semester and 12 weeks right? 12 weeks right? so semester one starting from august and uh, 16th of august to be exact and until december 2021 uh, uh, semester two december 2021 until april and 2022 and uh, semester three from april 2022 until july 2022 uh, so the first half of the of the lecture is uh, we'll be taking an approximately six weeks, right? Six weeks of lecture, non-stop, from Monday until Friday, right? And then mid-semester vacation. Uh, previously, when we had a uh, long semester for fourteen weeks, of course we had uh, mid-semester vacation, mid-break semester, usually for five days, one week. But since and the calendar has changed, and so no more mid-semester vacation, no more mid-break semester. And instead, they will give, uh, they will give you guys mid-break vacation for Saturday and Sunday only. And and then we uh, you guys will be having a mid-semester examination and midterm test. And and usually and traditionally it will be held on week seven or week eight. And and then after that. And the lecture will be continue. Uh, will be continue for uh, another six weeks, and then and there is there will be no more revision week. Uh, previously, of course, we have revision week for one week uh, or maybe uh, five days at least. Um, but and at the moment, uh, since we are tight in terms of schedule, so no more revision week. And instead, we are going to have 
the end of semester examination or final examination, and which traditionally I uh, will be taking approximately 10 to 14 days or two weeks. Eh? And then you guys will be having semester vacation, and usually two weeks, and at top maybe three weeks, and but usually two weeks and 14 days. So total of uh, 16 weeks for each semester. Eh? All right. Uh, let's say you, you guys any question, you guys can ask uh, our academic advisor. All right, this is the link for academic calendar. You guys can take a look online and you guys can uh, go to CFS official website. All right, study period. And of course, and our study period at CFS at the foreign, uh, foreign studies will be one year only. Uh, one year only. And previously, of course, and our foreign studies, uh, some of the furniture studies, uh, it will take approximately two years. Uh, but of course, they have changed the system. And so each program, uh, regardless and uh, whether they are from medicine, which traditionally will take uh, a little bit long and time to finish, and uh, but at furniture studies, and uh, they have set it at one year only. And uh, for one and a half and two years here, uh, they are referring to uh, maybe some student uh, extending their stays at CFS. Maybe they, uh, maybe they repeated that kind of subject, perhaps. So they need to uh, extend their stays in CFS. And, and enroll into Kulia usually and, and traditionally will be on September. Uh, and you guys will be finishing. Sorry, let me take a look. Okay. You guys will be finishing semester three in July uh, 2022, uh, which means that you guys will be going to the main campus in September uh, 2022, right? And of course, uh, currently we have uh, twice an intake per year, and right? in February also. And of course, and the, uh, there is some great news, especially for other students as well, uh, for medical students, for example. And uh, previously, for medical student, and uh, for medical student, uh, they there were only one intake per year. Uh, but of course, the AMAT Academic Management and Admission Division has changed and, uh, the rule and there will be two intakes per year, including and the Kulia of Medicine, Dentistry, uh, Pharmacy, and so on and so forth. All right. All right. Lecture attendance requirement. Uh, students are required to attend all lectures, tutorial, activities, etc. And of courses. And this is very, very important, you guys. And, uh, you guys must be, uh, must attend all classes man. and subject of course if you guys have uh, mc not feeling well and feel free to and pm and whatsapp your lecturer and do not just uh tell him or her and without any notification uh, please tell your le your lecturer and if you guys uh, were feeling sick or not feeling comfortable to follow the online classes i, I because i understand uh, some student got uh, too many classes in a day, right? especially in front of the laptop. <laughs> they might be dizzy. Right? All right. So attendance and at least 80%. And 80% of the attendance and should uh, be required right? for each student, uh, which means if you guys fail to achieve 80%, uh, you guys will be barred. Uh, barred from uh, attending uh, the final examination. Right? In fact, inshallah, Dr. Siti Hawa will be explaining on how many percentage uh, students, and if he or she absent from his or her classes, and uh, how many percentage, and before she, he or she uh, will be getting a warning letter uh, from our department. Right? All right. Minimum CGPA to Kulli, yeah? and for IRK, it will be 2.5. Right? Which means that, and if you are graduating from our our center CFS, and make sure and that you guys have obtained two point five CGPA at least, as two point five, and in order to enter to our kulia in Gomba. Right, this is our student performance evaluation. And this is pretty standard, I think, uh, for marks and and uh, for eighty to hundred percent, and the letter grade is A. Grade point four point zero zero remarks as excellent, and you guys will be earn your credit for A minus seventy five to seventy nine, 
uh, the grade point will be 3.67 uh, remarks as extremely good. And of course, you will be, you will, uh, be also earned your credit. Right? And then for B plus uh, 70 until 74, which equals to the grade points 3.33 remarks as very good. And you will be also uh, earn your credit. And then for B, 65 until 60, uh, 69, and which is equal to grade point 3.00, your remark will be good. And yes, you will earn your credit. And then for B minus 60 at 64 and 2.67, fairly good. And yes, you will also earn your credit. And then for C plus and 55 and 59, and which equals to the grade points at 2.33 and remarks as satisfactory. Memuaskan sajalah. And, and yes, and you will be earning your credit. And, and then uh, for C, 50 until 54, uh, the grade point will be 2.00, quite satisfactory. And yes, you will be earning your credit. And then for D, 45 until 49, and 1.67 in terms of the grade point, and the remark will be poor, and you will not be earning your credit. And, and then D, D minus and 40 until 44, and the grade point will be 1.33, very poor, no credits earned. And then for E, 35 until 39, and 1.00 grade point, and the remark will be extremely poor, and no credits earned. And F, the last one is F, 0 to 34, and, and grade point will be 0, 0.00, and it is considered as failed, and no credit will be earned uh, for that kind of grade. Uh, so make sure that you understand it and hafal kalau boleh. Right. Where to get the reliable information related to permit matters? Uh, first of course, to our main office, the Department of IRK at Arrazi Building. But currently, of course, uh, we are uh, having total lockdown. Uh, and of course, and our uh, department is uh, maybe open just twice a day because our PA will be working at the campus only twice or two days per week. Right? And then you guys can also refer to Office of Deputy Dean, Academic and International Relation. And the person in charge will be Brother Sufi. And he can be reached at 09518-3439 or email him at msufi, alias iu.my. Or you guys can refer to student portal, CFS website, or to our academic advisor, Dr. Siti Hawa Binti Ahmad, and by joining that uh, Telegram uh, channel. All right, first info number one. And first, check your EPT results. And that's very, very important. Lah. If you guys are attacking EPT yesterday, make sure, and after the result I came out, and check your EPT result. And then check your class timetable. And, and then make sure, double check your name, your course, and group and venue. Uh, of course, for venue, it is uh, irrelevant currently because we are having RTL or online classes and that will not be necessary. But for semester two, and it will be perhaps, not sure yet, uh, perhaps it will be face-to-face. -face. And if the KPT, uh, Kementerian Pengajian Tinggi, allow us to enter into the uh, our campus, uh, you guys will be uh, of course, and having a face to face and interaction with our department, with our lecturers, with our classes. So, make sure that you know your venue of the class. Eh? And then, all classes will be starting as scheduled, uh, which means uh, uh, starting from 16th of August, next Monday, and our class will be starting. Dan, uh, tak boleh cakap, oh, minggu pertama honeymoon kot, tak betul datang. Uh, this is <laughs> absurd. Right? So you cannot think like that. Right? So make sure that you are ready in front of your laptop, your smartphone, or your gadget. Right? And then collect updated academic calendar and semester event brochure for each semester at or die counter during office hour. This one, of course, you guys need to wait until you guys will be returning to our campus. Right? And once the campus has opened for all of us, uh, you guys can go to or die. And or die stands for and deputy dean, sorry, office of deputy dean of academic and internationalization. And then print your course registration slip or CRS and make sure that you print out your course registration slip. So you will know uh, your 
subjects, your section, and your lecturer's name, so on and so forth. Important info number two, this one of course refer to ODAI for the process. Eh? Registration courses or subject and preparing class timetable, add drop courses or withdrawal courses, change of program. I understand that today uh, Ahmad will be opening and uh, I'll give uh, giving the chance for CFS student to change their program today. But I'm not sure when because I just heard from our deputy dean, our brother Istihar. And, but uh, currently, Ahmad is uh, really busy uh, because they are handling the STPM students intake. And, so I'm not sure when it will be open. And I'm not really sure uh, about the uh, process and how to change the program. But hopefully, you stay with IRK. And then the approval for study leave or absent from classes. And, and then graduating process and student feedback survey. And SFS, this is very, very important. Each semester, you guys uh, are required and to fill in the data for your lecturer and in student feedback survey, which means that you are evaluating your own lecturer. And you can give evaluation for your own lecturer. All right. But this one, of course, uh, most of them, uh, most of this uh, process, and uh, it is under ODAI, under the Office of Deputy Dean, Academic and International Relations. All right. Important info number three, academic standing. Uh, for CGPA 3.5 above until 4, and the academic standing will be DIN list. Uh, 3.4 until 3. Point, sorry, 3.0 until 3.4 will be second class upper. And, and then 2.5 until 3.0, second class lower. Uh, 2.0 until 2.4, and it becomes as good. And 1.67 until 2.00 probation. And CGPA below a 1.67 dismissal. Maknanya disingkirkanlah daripada universiti. Kalau gagal, kalau di bawah and below 1.67. Alright. Minimum CGPA to kuliah. This is very, very important for you guys to observe. And for IRK, as I mentioned earlier, the minimum CGPA to enter the, to the kuliah is 2.5. And for streaming lining, and for example, if you guys want to measure this one letter in kuliah, and if you want to measure in Quran and Sunnah studies, QS. And just like me myself or Dr. Siti Hawa, uh, we are measuring, uh, we, uh, we, are, we are graduating from Department of Quran and Sunnah Studies from uh, Kuliah of Islam and River Knowledge at IOM uh, Gombak. So the requirement, the minimum requirement is obtain B and in the subject of Badkhal ilal Quran was Sunnah. Failing to do so and will have consequences. And you guys have to maybe think twice and before measuring into the Quran and Sunnah And if you just uh, fail to obtain B, yeah. and so make sure for this semester, of course, this semester we are offering Madhukhan Ilal Quran wa Sunnah, make sure that you guys uh, at least obtain B uh, for this subject. If you guys want to measure in Quran Sunnah Studies. And then we have Fiqh and Usul Al-Fiqh. And for measuring in Fiqh and Usul Al-Fiqh, make sure that you guys uh, obtain at least B for the study of Al-Badhukhan Ilal Fiqh wa Usul and then for Usuluddin and Comparative Religion, and same and requirement, and which is B, and make sure that you guys score subject al madhal ila al wa Usuluddin for this semester. Because we are offering uh, two subjects uh, from these two uh, core courses, and Quran Sunnah, and then Aqidah wa Usuluddin. Right? Make sure at least B. Yeah? All right, this is additional info. If you guys want to set up the IUM Microsoft account, uh, maybe our uh, our committee can share my slide and to students so they can set up their own Microsoft account, IUM. All right, contact info, this is our contact info, and which means that you guys want to send us official letter, so this address should be used. Uh, Department of Islamic River Knowledge, Arazi Building, Center for Conscious Studies, uh, IUM. 26300 Gambang, Kuantan, Pahang. Eh? All right. All right. Yes, my is our satisfaction. Thank you very much, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for listening. Barakallahu fikum. I wish you good luck and all the best for this semester. And make sure that you guys and uh, observe your, uh, of course, and akhlaq and to uh, other students and to your parents. 
and of course observe the adapt and especially during the online classes and please uh, switch on your video and this is one of the adapt because some students of course and they turn off the video and uh, during the live lecture and then dia baring kat atas katil uh, sambil lecture dia di depan laptop cakap contohnya and uh, this is not good especially for IRK student and eh? all right thank you very much وبالله توفيق وهداية والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Okay. Hold on. Stop share. Alright. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you Ustaz Kazman for that wonderful briefing that you guys get notes and get the benefit from the information provided. InshaAllah. Next, for the Q&A session. We are open to any questions regarding the topics that have been briefed. Or if you want to request further information or anything related to the department or the course that you'll be studying, you may do so. Please write the questions in the comment section or feel free to submit those questions through Google Form. And I will try my best to ensure all of them get answered by our respective academic advisor, Dr. Siti Hawa Binti Ahmad. The floor is yours. Okay, thank you Brother Ikhwan. Alhamdulillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters. Uh, first of all, ahlan wa sahlan wa marhaban bikum ya, uh, to um, CFS IUM Gambang. Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you. Allah chose you to be here, to be with us uh, in uh, IRK program. Alhamdulillah. Welcome uh, to CFS and well done. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So I am uh, brothers and sisters. Siti Hawa Ahmad, Ustazah Siti Hawa Ahmad. Okay, you can call me Ustazah. Ustazah Siti Hawa Ahmad. So, insyaAllah, uh, I'm in charge of uh, question uh, Q&A session. Okay, so uh, can you uh, can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, uh, so this is uh, among the question that uh, I got from the link given. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, the question is uh, what procedure to change course from IRK to economy? If I'm not mistaken, uh, Ustaz Kazman has explained you uh, how to change and um, I mean uh, uh, currently um, we are not allowed to change but if you uh, meet the requirement, for example, uh, in case in case uh, there is a vacancy kalau ada kekosongan and also you meet the requirement um, According to Ahmad, then you uh, uh you you can change. But uh, my advice is uh, don't change lah. Uh, okay, because um the procedure uh, because we don't know the the possibility to to get lah. But um okay, so that is the first question. Okay, and then um, second question. Uh, the information is English only. Uh, what do you mean the information? Uh, if the uh, if you mean the the subject that uh, we are going to learn, so the subject if uh, it is in Arabic, for example, madhul ila Quran wa Sunnah, madhul ila aqidah wa aqidah wa usuludin. So the subject will be in Arabic. Uh, but uh, for understanding Islam, uh, ICT, so the the subject will be offered in English. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So then uh, RK time degree boleh sambung kos apa je? Oh, okay. So I think uh, Ustaz Kazman has explained to you before this, my dear brothers and sisters, that uh, you can um, uh, measuring in, uh, there are three. Uh, now, okay. Uh, now this, okay, you have four. Uh, okay. So the new is uh, Bahim, which is a Bachelor of Halal Management. Uh, okay. So uh, we have uh, three basically. And Bahim is under uh, Department of Fiqh and Usul. So you can uh, continue in IRK and majoring in uh, first uh, Al-Quran and Sunnah or uh, Fiqh Usul Fiqh or um, Usul Iddin and Competitive Region or, or um, we have a uh, high management. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, IRK time degree boleh sambung uh, kos tu lah insyaAllah. Okay. Uh, okay, so kalau uh, dan boleh tiba-tiba melencuk ke kos yang tak relate dengan IRK contoh mas, macam kos ICT or CES. Uh, okay, uh, uh, kalau nak melencung, uh, okay maksudnya but kalau dah sampai gombak okay and then you can try lah to uh, to Ahmad uh, you can uh, email to Ahmad uh, if you want to uh, to change the course when you are degree lah uh, berbaloi ke uh, tak apa it's okay uh, as long as uh, you gain knowledge here uh, okay okay so then penerangan lebih uh, okay hmm. uh, what will be happening if not 
uh, pass the pointer okay so uh, if you not pass the pointer um, do you mean uh, 1.67 Okay, if uh, 1.67 in first semester, uh, you are under uh, observation and then uh, we need to struggle lah, uh, kan? we need to try to improve our pointer. Uh. So, um, you un, uh, that is uh, what happened in first semester, but uh, in three semester, and then you are going to dismiss lah from uh, CFS. But you try my, uh, my best, uh, you try your best, my dear brothers and sisters, okay? Okay, then... Um, uh, next question, how to score in every semester? Okay, how to score in every semester? Okay, um, so in each uh, subject, my dear brothers and sisters, so we have carry marks. Uh, uh, carry marks means uh, the uh, presentation, uh, the uh, presentation, uh, and then the test, uh, the uh, uh, assignment, okay? And then uh, uh, the another uh, assessment is final exam. So uh, you, uh, you need to, uh, we need to strive lah, uh, to score in a uh, carry marks as well as final exam. Okay, how to score? Um, you, you need to fulfill all the requirements, for example, uh, do all the presentation, assignment, test, okay, and then do revision, uh, consult with your lecturers, uh, don't miss class, okay. Uh, so how to score in every semester. Uh, so, uh, and then that is a first aspect, okay. The second aspect, how to score, uh, minimum requirement, uh, as I told you, uh, uh, kindly, we try, uh, okay, we try to uh, score more than 2.5 uh, CGPA, uh, okay. So we try to, to achieve or to uh, obtain more than 2.5 lah. Uh, so inshallah, you will be in the uh, safe, uh, safe situation inshallah. Okay. For LK course, is any textbooks must be buy by students for uh, online and distance learning? Okay. So um, currently, uh, inshallah, um, in each class, the uh, lecturers will provide you. Uh, okay. Will provide you notes inshallah. Uh, um, yeah. Yes. Uh, so most of the lecturers will uh, give you notes. Okay. Then, boleh tak share syllabus apa yang belajar for every, uh, every different level okay, of English? Okay, level of English, uh, then uh, you need to refer to subpad lah. Uh, but uh, basically, we have a writing, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have a writing, um, and then speaking, uh, writing, speaking, and uh, listening. Uh, okay, so that is the syllabus. Uh, the different level, uh, for more information, you can refer to uh, Salpat, insyaAllah. Okay, all the lectures are kind or not, insyaAllah, masyaAllah, my dear brothers and sisters, um, here, all of the lectures are kind and we are willing to help you. We are uh, we are together, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, my, my dear brothers and sisters, we are together in this uh, process of learning. So, insyaAllah, uh, all of us are kind uh, and we are willing to help you, eh, my dear brothers and sisters. Don't worry, we learn together. Okay, we uh, let we strive together, and we are uh, excellent in uh, our uh, akhlaq and also in academic. Inshallah. Okay, uh, is this uh, subject? Oh, IELTS subject are very hard to understand and score in the exam. Oh, alhamdulillah. Um, 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 it's not uh, personally uh, for uh, my uh, experience and uh, my students' uh, experience. You can also. Uh, as by the Ikhwan. <laughs> okay, so for me, uh, it's not very hard lah to understand, but inshallah, you can understand, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, so it's not too hard, it's not too hard to understand. Inshallah, we can learn together, uh, we can understand. If you not uh, understand, if you, if you uh, cannot understand, then you can ask uh, uh, our lecturers. Okay, so uh, and we can have a consultation. Uh, so um, we can uh, we can solve our problem together inshallah okay it's not too hard to understand uh, and score it's, uh, is it hard to score in exam uh, no uh, inshallah you are able uh, as long as you put your effort okay uh, you uh, observe your adab and then uh, tawakkal to allah okay and then inshallah you can uh, score the uh, the exam inshallah tips to do assignment correctly okay don't worry my dear brothers and sisters so our lecture uh, all of our lectures in class, we'll explain to you uh, how to do assignment correctly, okay? Uh, for example, you need to have an introduction, how to do a um, um, uh, footnote, okay? Inshallah, we'll teach you, don't worry, uh, okay? Tips to do assignment, okay? Inshallah, khair uh, inshallah. And previously also, Alhamdulillah, uh, Isra, uh, which is uh, IRK um, 
uh, Alki um, dia ada uh, under Bladi Ikhwan Alki uh, Association uh, uh, Alki Kuangdak how uh, the the workshop how to do assignment kata lagi oh, Masya Allah thank you to Bladi Ikhwan Masya Allah okay. for his effort Masya Allah uh, Alhamdulillah so don't worry Insya Allah uh, we will teach you how to make an assignment correctly okay course Alki ni wajib hafaz Al-Quran ke? okay um, Basically, Masya Allah, uh, Ustaz Kazman, uh, he is a Hafiz, okay, Alhamdulillah, and uh, wajib to hafaz Al-Quran, eh? okay, so uh, if you have advent, uh, advantage to uh, memorize Al-Quran, then uh, it will be very good lah, my dear brothers and sisters, okay, um, and uh, for this subject of IRK, there are certain ayah lah, uh, certain ayat that um, include in our syllabus that we can, uh, we, we need uh, to uh, understand. And we need to uh, hafaz uh, a bit, uh, a little bit ayat lah, uh, okay. So, but uh, in Gombak, insyaAllah later, uh, you will um, and, uh, need to to uh, memorize uh, some surah uh, uh, of Al-Quran, insyaAllah. Okay, so do physical science student need to attend or no, okay. How many foreign lecture, uh, lecture in LK course? Okay, so uh, in uh, CFS. Uh, currently, we have uh, Dr. Neymar. Uh, Dr. Neymar uh, is a foreigner. Uh, and the rest uh, is uh, local. Uh, but uh, inshallah, in Gomba, uh, you will face uh, many uh, foreigner lecturers in the IT course. Okay. Mm. Uh, when can we enter the CFS? Okay, as uh, Ustaz Kazman said before, um, uh, according to the um, Ministry of Education um, uh, commandment or uh, order lah insyaAllah again we hope that uh, our pand uh, this pandemic will be lifted insyaAllah then uh, you can enter CFS uh, physically insyaAllah okay is X degree of education at uh, IUM has big chance uh, to be teacher okay as far as I'm concerned uh, from uh, education uh, insyaAllah you will uh, you will have a chance to um, to to be a teacher uh, uh, in uh, even though that uh, you are from uh, uh, apa IM education lah uh, okay and then okay uh, okay can I get the list of the lectures with the other vision that you have uh, uh Ustaz Kazman okay uh, can we share Ustaz Kazman <laughs> okay I'm still updating the database. Ah, okay. Later, insyaAllah. Ah, okay, later, insyaAllah. Okay, uh, if want to uh, to to have the list, insyaAllah, uh, Ustaz Kazman will update the, the list and share with you, insyaAllah. Okay, and then, uh, okay, sorry for the uh, the question, uh, engineering and ICT, uh, I, do, I don't have any knowledge on it, uh, but you can refer to the department of, um, uh, department uh, of uh, engineering, eh? Uh, um, uh, Department of uh, Engineering and ICT. Ah, is ICT, yes, insyaAllah. Uh, you can refer to them. Lah. Okay, what is the content that provide in Uswah? Okay, content that provide in Uswah, uh, basically, uh, it says about uh, Islam, Iman and Ihsan. Uh, Islam, Iman and Ihsan, insyaAllah. Okay, macam mana nak ke pendidikan degree? Um, degree, uh, okay, uh, if um, you are... Um, pursue your degree in Gomba uh, later after you done your CFS then there is a uh, streamlining then you can choose uh, education uh, then you can choose uh, education lah in the uh, streamlining insyaAllah can we go overseas session uh, for degree level yes insyaAllah yes you can uh -huh. after CFS yes you can you can go to Middle East uh -huh. there are many students who pursue in um, uh, Morocco, Jordan, uh, Madina uh -huh. We can bela our hair. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, bela. Uh, um, um, basically, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to uh, apa, abide lah, uh, the rules and regulation and uh, the adab of Tolib uh, Al-Ang. Okay. Uh, what do you mean by bela? Okay. And then, do we need to have a laptop each a student in LK course? Uh, okay. Um, basically, my dear brothers and sisters, um, uh you can depend on your uh, phone but uh, it is uh, it will be better if you have a laptop because um later you will um, need to make uh, your assignment right uh, so that's why uh, we need a laptop lah but if you do have any other ways 
uh, to complete your assignment by not uh, using laptop, you can do so. Uh, so it is advisable to have a laptop lah. Uh, okay. Any valuable tip can the lecturer give to the newcomers like me? Okay. Uh, tips. Uh, okay. Sat Kazma also can share the tips can. Uh, for the newcomers, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, I think you need to prepare yourself. Okay. Um, prepare your mental, prepare your emotion. Um, and then um, you need to, uh, in, because if you doing uh, online learning right now, uh, you are in your uh, home, then you need to uh, let your parents know your schedule, okay, and then your maybe your due date of assignment, okay. And for the newcomers, okay, and then uh, for the newcomers, you need to prepare your mental, lah, uh, okay. So at least we know, um, we need to uh, know um, uh, English, uh, Arabic, okay, and then maybe you can test off, you can uh, go to uh, your previous uh, book of SPM and then get the idea of um, for example madkhul ila quran madkhul ila al aqidah so uh, you can um, provide yourself or prepare yourself by uh, reading lah uh, okay and uh, don't worry my dear brothers and sisters okay for the newcomers okay uh, we 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 learn together okay we learn together uh, we are uh, we as a lecturers we are willing to help you okay so don't hesitate to uh, to approach us uh, Okay, and I also share you uh, my number and email, right? Uh, okay, so inshallah, you can um, uh, contact me later, inshallah. And then, it's okay. Uh, we, uh, we, uh, we are facing this uh, this situation together, okay? So don't worry. Uh, so you just need to prepare your mental, your emotion, uh, your spiritual, and uh, the most important is your heart. Lah. Uh, okay, and then, um, how do we know that our class timetable is changing? Oh, okay. So, um, your uh, class uh, timetable, you need to refer to I Maklum. Okay. And then uh, the timetable uh, is, um, uh, it will be appear there lah, uh, in your uh, I Maklum. Okay. And then, uh, I mean, our subject uh, quantity is rely on what kind of, what kind of what? Uh, what kind of? Oh, sorry, because the, the, oh, the, the question is keep coming, that's why, okay. I mean our subject quantity is rely on what kind of, what kind of what? Uh, quantity? Oh, uh, okay. Uh, it's depend on the, uh, every subject uh, that you have to take on the first semester, second semester, third semester has been planned, has been decided uh, by uh, campus, by uh, CFS. So, you just follow the 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 quantity of subject lah uh, okay uh, first semester second semester third semester okay and then during our class later what we should uh, we should call our lecturer okay uh, basically um um uh, you um uh, if uh, from uh, IRK department you can call uh, ustazah or um ustaz uh, madam uh, okay uh, so that is uh, what you should call lah uh, your lecturer how to pursue degree, degree to Middle East? Oh, is it uh, still under IUM or self-sponsored? Um, uh, as far as uh, I concern, uh, there is no any uh, sponsorship from IUM to pursue your mid, uh, degree lah in Middle East. Uh, what we will learn in thinking skill subject? Uh, okay, uh, thinking skill subject, then you need to refer to HS lah. Uh, I don't have any knowledge on that, sorry. For those students that take IRK course, what? they be in the future oh okay uh what you be in the future okay what you be in the future mm. uh, um there are uh there are many uh chances uh what will you uh, you be in the future inshallah my dear brothers and sisters for example uh as far as i know uh, from alumni uh, i am alumni uh they will be uh, uh lecturers uh businessmen uh also, there is a, a student that um, work under Jakim, under Jabatan Agama, uh, and then uh, Shariah Advisor uh, at uh, banks. Okay, uh, so there is a, if you need um, more information, you can refer to uh, IUM alumni. Uh, okay, and then then class anti full English ke? Oh, okay. Uh, it, uh, basically, it's full English uh, and according to the subject lah. 
Uh, for example, understanding Islam 1, understanding Islam 2, uh, ICT, tinggi skill, uh, they will be in English lah. Uh, and then, Madakhul ila Quran, Madakhul ila Quran wa Sunnah, Madakhul ila Aqidah, Nusus Muhtarah. Then, uh, insyaAllah, it will be offer, uh, offer in Arabic. Uh, okay. Can we wear ni uh, niqabs in classes? Okay, basically, my dear brothers and sisters, uh, it is for uh, safety. Uh, it is uh, for is uh, for the sake of safety. Uh, then we are not uh, encouraged to uh, wear any cops lah uh, in um, uh, in uh, IM campus lah. Uh, okay. So yeah, I think that's all uh, the question. Okay. So I pass back to um, Brother Ikhwan. I think uh, that's all the question we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you to all. Thank you to the all speakers okay. for answering the questions. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, believe it or not, we are already at the end of our session. Hence, I would like to thank again Sir Ustaz Kazman Kamuzaman and Dr. Siti Hawa and all students involved for being present throughout the session. We will adjourn the meeting with Tasbih Kifarah and Surah al -Aus. See you again on another session under the Ta'aruqi, inshallah. Thank you. Alright, everyone. Thank you very much. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you, all committee. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.